Meanwhile, Chinese President Xi Jinping is presently in Myanmar. He's said to be a man who's on a mission, and he also got a lavish welcome at the capital city of Naypyidaw. Now, he is going to be in Myanmar for two days. So what is Xi Jinping doing in Myanmar? Now, ostensibly, he's there to celebrate 70 years of China-Myanmar ties. But he's also there for some serious business. He's pushing China's agenda. He's trying to boost Chinese investments and profile and he's stepping up Chinese investments in Myanmar especially in the Rakhine province the very same province that saw widespread violence against the Rohingyas just a couple of years back this of course the member had triggered one of the biggest refugee crises that's been witnessed in South Asia in recent decades now, the persecution of the Rohingyas made Myanmar a global pariah. Western nations have accused Myanmar, Myanmar's government, of supporting the military in actions that they have described as genocide and ethnic cleansing of the Rohingya minority. Now, the military, the Myanmarese military, launched a campaign against the Rohingyas in August 2017 and they carried out an operation that killed several thousand people. There was arson of several of these Rohingya villages and mass rapes were also reported. An estimated 900,000 Rohingyas had to cross over the border from Myanmar and flee to Bangladesh. Now, as a result of this crisis, investment dried up in Myanmar it was isolated globally, and Nobel laureate Aung San Suu Kyi, who also had to appear at The Hague, the International Court of Justice, to defend the actions of her government, has now turned to China for investment and help. And President Xi Jinping is pretty happy to oblige. China is now all set to pump in billions of dollars into Myanmar. It's actually promised $1.3 billion of investments. And ahead of President Xi Jinping's arrival, a minister from Myanmar said that he'll be signing agreements to try and build a special economic zone and also a port along the Bay of Bengal. Now, together, these two countries intend to build what is known as the China-Myanmar Economic Corridor, very similar to the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. And all of this is, of course, happening under the Belt and Road Initiative. And this, many nations say, is the Chinese way of getting a nation into its debt trap. And here's why India should be extremely worried about China's moves in Myanmar. Now, Beijing will get a direct access to the Indian Ocean with this port. It would give China a chance to control critical shipping lanes in India's neighborhood. Now, the crown jewel of China's deals with Myanmar is, of course, this particular specific port that goes by the name Kyav Pyu, which will now be turned into a special economic zone. Now, this is said to be a $1.3 million deal that involves a highway and other oil and gas pipelines as well. Infrastructure that will allow Beijing to tap into the rich energy reserves of Myanmar. And this special economic zone will connect China's Yunnan province to Myanmar's financial center Yangon and also to the disturbed Rakhine province. Now, by far, China is, of course, the largest foreign investor in Myanmar. It is running dozens of projects. And here's a breakdown in terms of the Chinese involvement in Myanmar. Now, China is involved in at least about 18 hydropower projects. It also is a big player in the jade and ruby mining operations, many of which are said to be illicit in nature. It's also interests in timber logging in northern Myanmar. China has got a major portfolio of property investments as well, especially in Yangon, where it is building shopping malls and high-rise apartment blocks. Now, it's clear that China is, of course, building a stronghold in Myanmar, but the question, of course, is why does it want to do all of this? Now, investments in Myanmar will, of course, further China's geopolitical ambitions. China will gain access to Indian Ocean via Myanmar and it will be China's bridge in South Asia.